So today we are going to work on the collision repair. I'm still at work right now, I'm on break, but by the time I get off work it's going to be dark outside and it's going to be kind of hard to film this intro. Once I get off work I'm going to head to Tyler's house and then it's going to pick up from there. Pretty much what's going on is my friend Tyler is bringing a port of power from work, I'll show you what that is when we get there and we're going to try to push as much of this quarter panel out as possible and that's pretty much going to be it for the day. We might fool around and do some other stuff but I don't know yet so I'll see you then. We have made it to Tyler's and I checked under the car because I was feeling a weird steering thing to where when I'd hit my brakes my steering wheel would turn a little bit and I got under the car and where the tension rod bracket mounts to the frame rail um, one side the bolts were loose and on the other side the bolts were missing. So, uh, found some replacement bolts for that and that's working now. And now we're using the port of power to try to get the quarter pushed out a little bit. Here, I want to let some pressure up. I want to move it. Let's just go. It's pulling this top out quite a bit. It's going to spring back in, so. Oh, that really is doing stuff. Yeah, yeah that's why stuff. This thing's right? fucking kick ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. It went in a lot. Yeah. I was going to say. Now, however, the central part of the So after using the porta power, we've actually got it pushed out decent. I mean, it's definitely not ever going to look perfect again, but like the somewhat shape is back, which is cool. Uh, Tyler had some tail lights, some stock ones that I threw in. I mean, there's obviously a big gap and it's not gonna be perfect anymore. And then also what sucks is that this got super caved in. That's a lot of damage. We did what we could. I've, there's a guy that's wanting to look at the car and he might be able to fix it. I'm not sure if he'll be able to or not, but I'm gonna try to talk to him about it because I really don't wanna do overfenders. So to do this job, we used what is known as a porta power, and I'm going to have Tyler explain what a porta power is and kinda how to use it. This is Tyler, he's gonna explain it. How's it going? Uh, it's pretty much just a hydraulic reservoir that pumps into a hydraulic jack that you can put different fittings and things on to uh, use it to press it all out. So pretty much this piston you can just jack on and it'll push pressure up to this jack that will extend this piece out and you can make this a lot longer and put different extensions on it. So it's pretty much just like any normal jack but you can just kind of move it around and put it wherever you want to. So pretty much what we did was we didn't keep it this short we actually added a couple extensions to it and the way to get this pushed out we had the tip of it inside the fender here and then the whole thing was going all the way across and we had it mounted down here where the uh, spare tire area is and that was strong enough to hold it and then pretty much just put it in different areas and pushed out in different other areas to try to even it out a little more. I mean if you remember this whole entire section was pushed all the way into here. Getting that pushed out that much is pretty fucking awesome. This is actually my first time ever hearing of one of these. I never knew that these things fucking existed, and this is amazing. I wish everyone can own these things, but apparently, apparently they're drift car. Yeah, every drift car owner should own these, but apparently they're like three hundred dollars or so. So he actually has the hookup on one of these throughout his work. So I'm pretty fortunate for that. But uh, if you ever have this kind of issue or just need a body panel pushed out, try to get your hands on one of those. It's fucking sick. But I think that's going to end it for me tonight. But uh, we pushed it out as much as we could. The car's still drivable. Everything still functions fine. Just looks ugly now. Well, there's a little update for you guys. Thank you for watching.